Hello, Dato Dan here. I, um, I have this little project that um, I have a previously printed uh, bag and surprisingly we are printing bags. We don't, nor <laughs> don't normally do that but we're printing bags today and um, for a customer. And uh, so while doing this, I thought, you know, I'm rebuilding this and uh, I don't want to scan this in in Photoshop um, and because it's just uh, the photo is not that good. The, um, you know, you got, I'd have to be rebuilding this anyway. So uh, I can uh, typeset it, which I did for the most part, uh, reset uh, Parkway or the Arcway scrubs, uh, rebuilt this. Um, for the P and uh, I have to redraw the scrubs. I can find the font, the exact font, but that would take a long time and, and it's just a small area so I'm uh, redrawing it. And you can see I, I typeset this area down here and that's pretty accurate. Um, so I just have to redraw this. A lot of times you may choose to, it might be smarter for you to decrease your time on a job to, just to redraw it rather than looking for the right font and and doing all that business. So I want to show the new people how to use the pen tool and uh, some of the issues that you may have along the way. Um, for one thing, when you first start using the pen tool out of the default Adobe Illustrator, it's got in the preferences, Command K or Control K, um, you'll see down here under uh, selection and anchor display you'll see these little rubber band um, options that are on by default so when you start to draw uh, a path you see this connecting from this point to my next point wherever I land that's irritating as all get out for me um, so if you don't like that you see how that just continues to hang on everywhere you go and make your next point. If you don't like that, you can type Control K and go down to the <coughs> selection anchor display and uncheck those. Click OK and then now you don't have them. Uh, I kind of know where I'm going. I don't know if it's it's just a preference. Um, so first I want to turn it off. Uh, if you use the X key, that toggles back and forth between your fill and your stroke. Um, so I want to turn off or have no fill and then I want to stroke just uh, with a color so that I can, and that can be any color, it's only temporary, uh, just so I can see my line and I'm decreasing that line to 0.25 just so it's thinner, not getting in my road and I can see the edge as well. Uh, I want to see it uh, displayed well up against that background that, that I'm uh, drawing from. So I click another point and the thing about these points, these uh, anchor points, is that um, you may click and then you don't know how to uh, redistribute or reshape it. And uh, so what you got to do is you got to highlight or click on the path itself and then you can see all the different points. So then you got to highlight a particular point, one that you want to reshape, redirect, and then drag, drag the anchor points, the directional anchors, uh, handles actually they're called, and uh, kind of reshape that direction. And I like to look, uh, Command Y or Control Y, I like to preview, see that's a nice smooth, curve on that. I preview my line in key line. If you go under Windows you'll see um, uh, the preview arrange. A lot of this stuff I don't I just do by key commands and I don't know what they are if you have to go find it under the window. Um, this is a preview. It must be under view. Yeah so outline command Y or control Y for PC users. So that shows you that view, preview. And uh, 
So the, um, I, again, I highlighted that and I'm circling or just clicking with my command key and dragging over the selection marquee, dragging over that little point there. And that activates and highlights. You see that one's turned solid blue. These are empty or white. Um, so this tells me this is the one I have active and what I'm going to work with. And again, these are directional handles. Um, so that reshapes my line. And the tricky part is about uh, when you get down so far, um, you see, and you see I'm coming all the way down here at this bend because the more points you add, the more opportunities you give yourself for errors um, or a non-smooth shape. So if I, it's like when you get a, an auto-traced file and you have a bazillion uh, little points all over the place, the, you'll see the that this is not a smooth transition up here. It's It's got a point, 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 point. And it kind of makes as if you're trying to redraw that with just straight lines, creating that bend here. And that's that's not smooth and good and doesn't look like a, a true typeset uh, letter. Um, so you click another point down here and that gives me uh, a long distance for my smooth bend. And you see I have that shape, so that looks pretty good. Now, if I click another point, this one is, this handle is way out too far for this short little bend here I need to make. So um, I can option click on this point and it'll drag out a new directional tool, a directional handle. So you can see I can bend that around if I wanted. Of course I don't want. So I'm going to click, option click, and click another little point with a small handle. Smaller handles give you better control. Unless you know what you're doing, like with this big bend here, you, your end game is to get down here with one nice smooth transition. Um, so I'll option click again. So as I'm building this, there's a lot of option and clicks, option and clicks, and uh, creating this nice little shape here. And again, I'm clicking down here and redirecting that curve to come up here nice and smoothly. And uh, I got a big long shape here, so I can click up here and that gives me a nice long path. Option click on this because I know I don't want to start over here because you'll see, see how that bend is? It's way out of where I want it to go. So I want to option click right here, drag out a little handle, gives me much more control. And then come down, get a big nice bend. So I want that pretty smooth. You can see I'm kind of directing how I want that line to go. It's much more emphasized as you draw out a big handle, but that's, you know, big handles are uh, uncontrollable at times. And I, if I don't like a point, I'll Command Z or Control Z to undo that and then click again and redraw that shape. Small drag outs. And then look at this one. Uh, now, I don't want to come clear up here. Let me zoom out of this a little bit. I don't want to come clear up here because I don't have as much control. It's, too, it's kind of too far of a distance now. And uh, you see it's not going out far enough down here at this end. Um, so what I like to do is click one point in the middle. It's kind of like when you're building a circle also. You know, a true circle that is converted to outlines, you'll see only four points. One at the very top, very bottom, very far left, very far right. Um, I'll actually show you that. So uh, you draw a circle, 
nice smooth perfect circle and you see the points one two three four only four points and you click on that and you can reshape that but see all, you, all of these handles are equal in space and that creates a perfect perfectly round circle so if I'm drawing one I want to kind of do the same thing and I can reshape that later but this is for the tutorial um, so yeah draw that out nice and rounder and you'll notice that like just like on this one when you look at both of these these are equal in length and uh, when you see this this is much shorter and you can see why, uh, what causes that or the results of that and you start to manually build a, a decent circle. And as we draw, you'll start to see that if your um, point is not quite how you like it, you can reshape that. Um, I'm holding down the option key, clicking on this point, and dragging out over top of it. And you see how it's kind of, the, the bend is reversed. Don't know how to get around that, but if you hold down the shift key, it kind of locks that in place. Okay, so I can pull that up and down. And all I did there was, because it was like this, all I did was kind of rotate that around. And uh, straighten that out. So now I can kind of re sculpt this circle. So that it looks a little bit better. A couple other things you can do too is to make things perfect is uh, you can select, hold down the command key, drag over those two points where you know that there's points hidden on the path and you've activated those. You can actually align those two vertically or horizontally. Uh, with those selected, you can type in, what was it? Command Option J, which would be Control Option J on a PC. And then you can align horizontally, vertically, or both. If you, sh if you do both, you get that. <laughs> um, vertically, it aligns all of that. Oh, that, I have all of those selected, by the way. Uh, so I'm just going to select those two. Select horizontal, brings it into the center. Vertical, again, vertical, just those two points. There, that shifted that. And then I can do the same with these two because if I drag this over, just straight over, it may not be in perfect alignment as you see. But I'm going to select those horizontal and now it has aligned those perfectly. Um, it's aligned those perfectly, the points, but the the bars, the handles, the handlebars out here are not. So that's why you see this odd looking shape. And so now you can just reshape those to finally get a more accurate circle. That's some real manual work there, but you get the picture. So let's finish building this shape. Now I go to Keyline View, look at my shapes, and because I'm a little particular about my shapes, I don't like this little dent down here. It looks too flat, so I'm going to smooth that out. And you can notice is these 
two handles here. They kind of form a V here in the center. They're coming, and, and I'm going to exaggerate the illustration here. They kind of have a point like this. And um, to get a smooth direction, you want to angle that down so that it follows the same degree of pitch as this one so that it comes out and that creates your nice smooth edge this looks pretty good except for this and again I'm I'm being a little more particular than than most people and maybe some of that's for the tutorial for to illustrate my point no pun intended That little thing right there. Pull that out more. Gives me a nice corner there, corner shape. <laughs> I'm going to finish. I'm going to option click because now I'm starting out on a new new point. Option click. A new direction come up to the top of the bend and now I'm kind of see right now um, I can go anywhere with this but if you hold down the shift key you can drag out horizontally pretty accurately and uh, sometimes doing so will provide better results option click again smaller point smaller handle click and drag and I'm not going straight down because that's going to give me a little sharp point right there. And then I'd have to come up and fix that with that way. But I'm going to click and just to have a little bit of a bend at a slight angle here. I don't know if you can see that well on the screen or not. I'll come out here a little further. Drag that out. Nice big bend. Another big bend. Sometimes you can click and that kind of finishes your path pretty well. Now I'm option clicking because I'm going down this way now. So I'm option clicking, dragging down a new direction, and I'm closing this path by clicking on that point. And then I can fill that if you wanted. Uh, I'm not going to do that yet though. Now, this also gets a lot of people is uh, I'm going to draw the inside of this line here. And once I fill that, I'll also use the Pathfinder, which I have up here in my tool palette. Um, use the Pathfinder and I'll, uh, I'll use Unite. These are the three that I use the most, Unite and uh, Divide and Trim. And uh, that breaks up this type here that you'll see. Now this, as you get more practice with this, this will be a little easier and a little faster and uh, will actually be faster than finding the font yourself. Taking the time to post, hey, does anybody recognize this font? And then you wait for answers. Or you have to go to the font or something else and find that font. And um, you can have it drawn up by the time you're done. Drawn up and printed your film and out the door by the time you actually find the font. It's got a little dent right up in here that I didn't like. Now I look at it in key line. There's a little point here. In print, nobody's going to really see that. But if you're a, a nut like me, I don't like to have this little dent there. So I'll find a perfect little angle take that out more and more.
And then I look at my shapes and this is this is a little fatter right here. So I'll kind of reshape that so that it looks a little more consistent. I like the look of that. Now I'll show you what I was talking about here with this inside. If I just uh, <coughs> fill, <it. coughs> excuse me, <coughs> if I just fill the inside, um, that's going to fill that inside there as well. My uh, so what I want to do is I want to use to go to Pathfinder and uh, divide. And you see that takes that out of there. Um, there's more about that to come later. Um, but that's basically it in a nutshell. I don't want to go and continue drawing this one into tutorials simply because uh, you get the gist of it and uh, you start paying closer attention to the directions. Mainly, uh, reshaping and uh, redirecting your points and using as few points as possible. Um, it's possible to come in here and, and draw this with multiple clicks. <laughs> Apparently some people do this, but if you do this with multiple clicks, let's take the fill off. You need to draw that shape. It kind of looks, it'll be solid. You can make it solid on the inside, but the outline shape, the outside of it is not going to be. Let's close this off just so you can see it. And let's take the template off. And that just looks horrible. Uh, but sometimes, depending on your auto trace preferences, uh, when you auto trace, you'll get results like this. And uh, again, there's way too many points on there. And when you do the whole image like that, it's um, it's, it's not a good file. It's not production friendly. It's not efficient. It's not clean looking. And uh, it's not quality artwork, so you don't want that. I hope that helps. Just a quick, or maybe not so quick, depending on how fast you want videos, but uh, just a quick tutorial on how to uh, work with the pen tool. Uh, hope you're all happy about that. Thank you.